person pay is more usable than Google Pay and Apple Pay. It can even replace your physical credit or debit card. Let's discuss about it in this video. Google Pay and Apple Pay use a technology known as NFC. This technology is present only in the latest card readers, whereas Samsung Pay uses a unique technique known as MST. This technique allows Samsung Pay to be used in older versions of card readers. What you see in this video is an example of Samsung Pay being used in an old credit card, an old credit or debit card reader. As you can see, Samsung Pay is easily accessible from the lock screen. After you authenticate using your iris or your PIN, you can just keep the phone near the card reader and the card reader will detect the phone as a credit card. To understand how, one, how MST works, first we need to understand how information is stored in the credit or debit card. As you can see in this credit card, there is a black strip. This strip contains many tiny magnetic particles. The polarity of these particles can be changed. This enables the strip to store information. When you swipe a card near the swiping area of the card reader, the, uh, the card reader detects, reads the information from the strip by looking at the polarity of those magnetic particles. So now coming back to MST. MST uses special hardware that creates an electromagnetic field which simulates the magnetic particles in a credit or debit card. This allows older versions of card readers to detect it as a credit or debit card. Samsung Pay is another advantage over using a physical credit or debit card. When you add a credit or debit card to Samsung Pay, it creates a unique number which is used for all transactions. For example, in the demo shown previously, the last four digits of the actual number is 2002, whereas the last four digits of the number used in the transaction is 0472. I hope you understood about Samsung Pay and MST. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to this channel.